Hey all you spies out there, my name is Spyroom123, and welcome back to Wildlife Adventures. I've only done one video on this channel. Uh, if you want to see more content from me, go check out my gaming channel. But, you know, I have been working on my bug collection a little, you know, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm cleaning my room, and I'm cleaning out all the spare cages and enclosures for them I have. So, I'm a, you know, tomorrow I should have all of them cleaned out, if not Tuesday. But I'm gonna show you them what I have right now, right? So, I'm gonna, you know, stop this recording and spin the camera around, like, kind of like this now, boys. You see me? Okay, so I'm gonna do that right now and get back to you guys. Okay, here we are. You know, I'm, I'm watching Chavez Slovakia, really cool dude. Uh, I'll put his link in the description below. Um, but here is the little setup I have going. This is not much, but I should have more soon. So basically, uh, I got some, I got some water plants growing so I can put in my aquarium. I've got set up. It's a little homemade aquarium. It's, I mean, it's not that good but it works for what it's meant for so we look in there and i got some cool guys as you can see there's a fish swimming around but see that Oops. camera focus focus camera okay camera doesn't want to focus um oh okay, there it goes see that it's kind of it's in the middle of the screen it looks like a small rock but that's actually a clam that i found a freshwater clam and as you can see right there it's actually a dragonfly nymph. He's uh, really cool. And there's some. There's a snail in the background. And I think somewhere on this plant there should be a damselfly nymph. I can't really see him though. So that's the aquarium I got going. I'm trying to get these nymphs to turn into the dragonflies and damselflies they should be turning into. But, you know, I don't really want that to happen right now. Because, you know... That's a really small cage for you know giant flying down the block. You'd be flying around in. So I'm probably gonna transfer them. Probably gonna have this cage right here. It's a little dark, but this cage right here, clean that out. It, it was a terrestrial cage that I never, I never really got fixed up. Last thing I got in there was a lizard. Never really got fixed up for him. I had to let him go. But basically, I should. I'm gonna fix that up tomorrow and turn it into a dragonfly damselfly, mayfly, uh, kind of nursery for you guys. Probably gonna have mosquitoes in there too. Not so I can infest my room with mosquitoes, but so they can, you know, turn into the mosquitoes that they're supposed to turn into. Like the little larvas, like the little jump, jump, jumpy jump things. You see what I'm doing with my hands? Like that? I don't know what that was. But basically, so I can have those in there and they'll turn into mosquitoes and that, uh, the... Dragonflies and the only flies can feed on. So that's going to turn into a nursery for them. Um, but also what I got going is here. As you see, this plant right here is fed through that. So there's some algae going, growing in there. Um, and I really need to actually clean that out. I try to put some in there to get it to grow in there so I can actually harvest it. But it's not supposed to be growing in there. So I don't know what's up. I got another water plant right here. And right here... Um, this is actually a beetle I found. Uh, I figured I did some research, found out the exact species name. It's um, S uh, quadriceps, or however you pronounce that, because that is it's a species of ground beetle and the predators. I need to get them some mealworms. I got two in there right now. I had a third one, but it escaped to somewhere. I mean, it's still here somewhere. Uh, it's probably hiding under something. So I'll be able to find it soon enough. But right here. In here, if I pop up the lid, I just got some snails in here. Nothing. I got some snails, and I also have a roly poly that my brother named uh, Gunter. Um, so in there, it's supposed to be kind of dark in there. So I mean, I don't know if you guys can see it in there, but there's a bunch of snails. There's one there. There's one here on the side. There's another one down there on the leaf. And I'm not sure that you can see it. Um, there's, there's another one eating right there. You probably can't see him though. Um, 
See if I blow on it. If I blow, uh, I do have some springtails in here just to kind of clean the place up. But they don't seem to be wanting to come out. I was thinking if I usually if I blow on a cage of spring tails, they kind of jump up. But I don't see any. Probably too small for you guys to see. And speaking of springtails, I got some in here too. Just because uh, springtails are really good decomposers. They'll eat mold, fungi, algae, moss, uh, feces. They'll eat all that and basically just clean up your cage. <sighs> I got some in here too. <sighs> I saw one. Yeah, there, there's one crawling around. They're really small, so you might not be able to see them. <sighs> a blow in there. They might start jumping up. But basically, springtails need to be really damp, so I'm just going to moisten this cage up. Try to get the springtails, keep the springtails alive. I don't know about these beetles. Pretty sure those beetles live in moist areas. They live under rocks and seem pretty moist under there. So, uh, But again, these beetles, I've never really known much. I've seen them a bunch, but I've never really known much about them. I, figured out, I found out the species names. I need to do more research, figure out the humidity they need. If it needs to be dry, wet or in between and the temperature um so yeah the snails i'm pretty good with snails usually it's not too hot not too cold and really moist so basically around here just just some spare cages i've got rock right here this is something i need to clean up i got all these spare cages i got this i got this i got this um got a bunch of stuff uh these little ones i actually really need to be using because this right here um, I want to go, because I found a, okay, someone just sent me something, but basically, this little thing right here, I'm going to use, because I, I, I know that there are outside, not, like outside my house, I know there are some pseudo scorpions, um, living out there, not like, they're not actual scorpions or pseudo scorpions, which means fake scorpions. But basically, they live out there, and I want to catch some and keep some. So basically, we're going to come over here, and I... This is where I'm keeping my springtails for now. So I accidentally... It's really dark. I'm going to try to bring this over here where it's light. Mind the mess. I need to find a place for all this stuff. Okay, so... It's still really dark in here. Yeah. Okay, wait. So yeah, okay, it's a little brighter now, I don't know if you can see, but basically this is, I accidentally started a colony of springtails, but the good thing is, springtails are really helpful, I already talked about what they do over there, they eat fungi, mold, basically stuff you don't want in your bug cages, stuff that can actually, um, kill them, so I'm actually, so that's really good. That I accidentally started calling. I'm gonna try to find some little tub I can put them in. Put some because this is a really big enclosure, as you can see. Uh, and I need this for something else. I need this for other things, right? So it's a little too big for the springtails since they're really small. But I'll blow in here, <sighs> and you might be able to see them crawling around. <sighs> Yeah, you should be able to see him. Uh, it might still be a little too dark. I'm going to try to see if I can come over here with the light and shine it in there. Yeah, that's, that's, that's good. <laughs> Just blow on it. Get them springtails to come out. You can see the little white things growing around. Those are springtails. They're really helpful. I at least got a few hundred in there. Um, and this cage is a little too big. So I'm going to try to move them over um, to a smaller colony and get some charcoal for them because they live good in charcoal, get a lot of moisture because that, that's not really suited for them, right? Um, and I'll use that for other things, right? So basically, that's how that's a little update. Oh, I also got this and I haven't really found a cage for them. I haven't made a cage for them yet, but basically, it's just a... I don't know what it is. It's, it's a cocoon of some insect. I'm pretty sure it's a um, species of fly that the larva is their para their parasites. The larva are parasites of like caterpillars and stuff. But I'm not so sure. So I'm just gonna try to keep that guy going. 
and just see how like what he turns into but I need to fix up a cage for him now this cage right here I've planned out what most of these things are gonna be this cage right here is gonna be um, this big one it's gonna be a grasshopper I need to fix it up obviously because all the plants in there are dead I haven't use a cage in a while and i was thinking grasshopper because it can't be something that requires a lot of moisture because that cage is really big and it's gonna use up a bunch of moisture and I, I can't have that i can't you know use the entire squirt bottle on that one enclosure so i'm gonna get a grasshopper where they don't really need a bunch of uh water and the, and the grass that grows in there the grass that grows around here doesn't really need a lot of moisture either so I'm going to try to fix that up to mom, try to fix up all of these other ones. So that's just a quick update on my um, guys. And yeah, I'll see you guys Wednesday. We might, I might actually be, it might be a catching video Wednesday. Um, But if, if not that, I'll, if it's not a catching video Wednesday, it'll probably just be an update video. Because by then I definitely should have all this stuff fixed up. Um... So if it's not a caption video, it'll be another update video. And then Saturday, I know for sure it can be a caption video. And Sunday is probably going to be another update video. So yeah, see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys enjoyed. You know, go ch uh, subscribe to Chavez Slovakia. He's got, uh, well, how much subs does he have? He has... Don't fucking let me know. Because I am hard pressed to... Oh, he has 50... 57,000 so basically yeah he's a really cool dude he's a reactor and if you know me I'll, I I like reactors especially the ones who give genuine reactions not like uh, other guys who just sit there and do nothing like he he um he's uh friends with um Dr. J and the women and uh Blast and Soji they have a lot more subs to him you might have heard their names before but I don't know if you've heard about this guy, Chavez Slovakia. Go subscribe to his channel. Link will be in the description below. Uh, see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.